actually through what you have transformed my life completely that I know there is a God in heaven. Papa, I thank you for being giving good company to Mama. Wanawetu asifiwe. Amen. Leo, today I'll go straight to the testimony. And I thank God, Minister Sam, thank you for challenging me. The challenge comes this week on Tuesday. Was it on Tuesday? Yeah, Sam called me and asked me to do some tasks. And when he asked me, I know this is a challenge because there is a leader for that team. We also thank Sister Sharon. And when Sam told me about it, I thought about it. And it's something concerns the program. You know, Sam has been spending his money by printing flyers. You remember he has given a testimony. But this time, I thought about those flyers. Where do we get this? Maybe we put them. When, when I'm given, sometimes I forget and I find them. When I go to the house, I find the flyers. So this challenge was to do what we call a missionary journey. And this time, it needed sacrifice. Mama, I want to report to you. I did a few calls, and especially the senior citizens. And some young people. We gathered here on Wednesday. And that Wednesday, it was one of the worst days of my life. If you can ask Sam, I look like a person. I had a very big challenge. It started raining in the morning. And we had to do this missionary journey around 10. <laughs> Heavens decided it will, it will rain. And this one, the first man, when you see rain, if you have been to Nairobi, you better be crushed by a car rather than getting rained on. Especially when you are going this way. So when we were coming from home with my dear one, I, call, I didn't know who to expect, but we had arranged with one Sister Sharon about what we are going to do. So this, that morning, when we were dropping, I come from a Cahill place. When we were, I had already almost near the road, never decided this is the time we are not going for that missionary journey. So what happened? I slept and I, I completely fell down. I could not wake up, but I said, how can this be? It's already approaching almost 10, and I'm supposed to be there by 10 o'clock. So there was a choice. Either I go back and change, or I come. I decided to come the way I was. I took that advantage. But surprisingly, when I came to church, my wife arrived earlier than me. I decided to, to clean my whatever, my tope there, at the top, I did, I did that. But when I came to enter the, this church, I found somebody I didn't invite. I got shocked. How did this person? Kumbe, the senior citizen I had caught, also involved another person. And when we came to the church, we found ourselves, a number of us, in total, we were eight. Let me say the truth. But also, heaven decided it's the time now to reign. Deep in my heart, I went there and sat there and asked God, are we, are we going to do exactly what you wanted us to do? But the best thing and the juicy part of it, we decided to gather. and We gathered in this auditorium. All of us, we hold hands. And we prayed, we said that what we had ahead of us, there are a lot of negative things might also backfire to us. We are going to face people. This time we are not going only to give flyers, but we are going to evangelize. And actually when we prayed, we prayed, we covered ourselves and said we have favor of God. And when we did all this, one of the senior citizens of Kenya, decided we have to speak against the weather. 
at that marquee it was raining that now going out was a question how do we move and we are not driving we are going to do the missionary journey but this senior citizen god bring a wisdom and say we are going to speak about the weather right now we are going to pray about the weather and the moment we move out of that gate it will not rain again believe you or not when we prayed heavens were stopped and he give even the specific hours we need for the rain to stop he Amen. said two and a half hours and Amen. believe it or not it did not rain we went for our missionary journey up to 1 30 and 1 30 didn't rain imagine when we came for rescue when uh, rescue service it was raining do you see god is able as long as the motive you have god will answer that prayer secondly we went to for the other uh, testimony is about the people we met and my question was why don't people of the area see this church what is what is that bright vein and during that mission we went different places and thank you minister sam you divided us two by two we were sent two by two even i was not given my partner i went with somebody else now what happened when we went out I wanted, I asked God, what is really this community think about God's Wars Embassy Church? And during that time, I met two young men. Almost at the, almost at Tasia. Those people who knows my Caesarian Road, they know there is a place called, it used to be called Tasket Chap Chap, but now it's Tasia Supermarket. I met these two young men. They told me, we, we started chatting and we were, I was trying to tell them they are supposed to come for, especially for this meeting we are having, starting from 29th. We had even the flyers. But when I was talking to them, they say, two of them told me, do you know, we are the people who constructed that church. We are given a task to, uh, uh, we are the people who were as hired to construct the church. But the negativity of the devil, these people were, the idea they had, the mentor they had, is about it is a Nigerian church. It's not a Kenyan church, but a Nigerian church. You see the mentality. And this one I asked God, what is happening? God reminded me about Jews and Gentiles. You remember, the Jews could not share things of Gentiles. The Gentiles could not, and they believed the kingdom belonged to Jewish people. But this time, these people are thinking, this church was meant for Nigerian people, not Kenyan people. And when I got that revelation, I told them, no. This church, God sent some person all the way from Nigeria for you and me. And in that sense, I made sense. So actually, to be realistic is a high time. I challenge you as a believers of God's words and church. Go and tell people about Christ, about this church. And when we do that, things will be positive for you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. God bless you so much.